So in this video, we're going to cover the digital read serial sketch. And uh, I'm going to be using the uh, Elegoo Mega 2560 R3 board. It's a clone of the Arduino board. Arduino lets anybody make their boards and sell them under different names. So as I said, right now I have it connected to the USB cable. I have a different sketch, a different program already on here. So next we'll upload the sketch. So, to get the sketch on the board, we come to the Arduino icon and click that. That opens the software, the IDE. It's generally referred to as the IDE. And uh, we come here right now, the bare minimum sketch is showing up. And if we go to File, Examples, Basics, and then Digital Read Serial, that will open up the uh, Digital Read Serial sketch and so we just click the arrow remember I have the board already plugged in to uh, the laptop so all I have to do is hit upload it compiles that gets it ready to upload onto the board and then now it's uh, uploading it's done uploading so now we have the sketch on the board that you see here the digital read serial sketch so now we're going to just take a real quick look at the sketch and when you do these projects it's important that you try to understand what the sketch, what the program is uh, doing and this is just going to be a quick one just help you get through the video. All this stuff you should learn about more on your own. So to begin with these are all notes. Anything with uh, slashes are uh, notes, these forward slashes. The ones with asterisks are multi-line notes. The uh, double forward slash, that's a single line of notes. So right here, uh, this line, what it's doing is it's telling the board, or the, uh, the sketch I should say, the program, it's letting it know that uh, when you say push button, you're talking about pin number two on the board. And uh, so that's, that's what that does. Basically it labels pin number two is the push button pin. So now we come to the setup. That gets the board ready to uh, run the program. So first thing it does here is it says it's gonna be, uh, the board's gonna be talking to the computer. So that's what sets this up. While the USB cable is connected, it's gonna be, the board's gonna be communicating with the uh, laptop. And then down here, the pin mode. So right here we're saying, the push button pin, that's pin number two, remember, we set that up above, is going to be an input. So it's going to be expecting current coming to it. It's not going to be delivering current to something else. It's inputting. If it was delivering the current for whatever reason, it would be the output. But it's expecting current at some point. And then now we come to the loop uh, where the activity is. Uh, everything above was setting it up for uh, this point. So uh, right here the uh, the button state is digital read. So that's letting the pin know it's either gonna be having a signal coming in or it's not. That's that's it. Those two states. That's all it cares about. Uh, either there's a signal which means on it's the ones in digital electronics or there's no signal it's off. That's the zero in digital electronics. So when you see digital that means there's two states. If it's analog, that means there's multiple uh, levels of states or whatever, however you want to look at it. But digital is really easy for computers and electronics. Things are either on or they're off. It's uh, very simple and uh, very efficient. And then down here, this is uh, telling the board to send the information to the computer to be printed, to be displayed on the screen. and. Uh, then there's a slight delay to help uh, steady things. So now before we begin the build I just want to mention the components I'll be using came from this kit here and I'll try to remember to put a link in the description for this kit if you don't already have it if you click that link and you buy anything from Amazon I get a percentage of that sale at no extra cost to you so that helps me make these videos but uh, in any case uh, if you have this kit, it'll be easier to follow along with what I'm doing. Otherwise, you can just get the components yourself. So now, the primary component for this sketch, for uh, this project, is this push-button switch. And uh, these push-button switches came in this box here. There's uh, some more right there. So now, zooming in to these two push-button switches, 
you can see that the legs on this one line up with the holes better than the legs of that one. That's because this one's turned uh, in the wrong direction. You want the legs to line up with the holes and then you can just insert it directly into there. It's uh, that simple. And with uh, push button switches, I like to have them line up with the uh, power strips here, this leg here, and that one, that one, with the gap in the middle. Because I use uh, jumper cables a lot. They connect directly there. And that way you know that uh, one will get to the leg of the switch. If one of the legs comes to this spot, uh, you can't attach it, of course. But in any case, what this switch does is, uh, these two pins down here are already connected to each other. We don't need this other uh, push button switch. And uh, the two top pins are also already connected to each other. So if you run a wire here and then a wire there, they'll always be connected. Uh, but they're separated top to bottom. So to make a connection from top to bottom to turn the switch on, you have to push the button. And you can hear a click when you push the button. So when you hear me uh, make a click, you'll know that I push the button. So now the other component we're going to use is called the pull down resistor. So as you can see here we have the resistor to one end of the switch. I flipped the board around by the way. It's going to make it easier for me to hook it up to my laptop this way. But in any case, uh, we got uh, one of the pins to the switch there. And then this resistor comes to the negative power rail. Now this is a 10, 10 kilo ohm resistor. Fairly high value resistor. And uh, what this is going to do is we're going to plug this jumper here. And then we'll plug the other end into one of the ground pins on the board. So what that does is it keeps uh, a slightly negative voltage on our uh, input. You'll see why later. But that helps make sure it stays off. Low and negative generally means off with digital. Whereas high or positive generally means on. So this is going to make sure that it stays off and reduce any chance of uh, accidental triggering into the high state. And now I plug the red jumper into the 5 volt slot and then to the other side of the switch, the top of the switch. And then I plug the orange jumper on this side of the switch to uh, pin number two. Now I could put it over here too. It doesn't matter. Remember this is always connected. These two sides. It's only separated from top to bottom. I gotta push the switch to connect those two. Uh, but in any case, it comes here. As I said, this now goes, this resistor, the pull down resistor goes to negative. That helps hold the voltage low, helps hold it to about ground, about zero volts. When I hit the switch, then the positive current can come through. There's no resistor reducing the current, so that'll easily make it more positive. And uh, so that comes to a pin two right there. And that's all there is to uh, wiring this up. Right now, if this was being powered, it'd be in the off state. It'd be held down to uh, zero volts on uh, pin two there. If I hit the switch, that'll close the switch and we'll get a positive current coming to pin 2 and that'll be the on state. So now we come back to the computer. I have the board plugged in to the computer with the USB cable now and uh, we'll go to tools. Remember with uh, this sketch, this program, the board talks to the computer. So right now you see a whole bunch of zeros here. That's the uh, board, the Arduino based board telling the computer that uh, there's no input signal right now. Right now it's off. I'm not pushing the push button. So now when I push and hold the uh, push button, you'll see a whole bunch of ones on there. So it keeps updating. That's why they keep getting replaced. So as long as I push the button, it shows one. When I let go, it pushes zero. So when I push the button, then you get a positive current to that pin. It puts it into the on state. When I let go, there is no positive current to that pin. Remember, it's the input. It's reading whether there's a current coming to it or not. Uh, it goes back to zero. And that's really the whole point of this sketch.